So on October 3rd, um, Free Eye Atlas will pass within 29 million kilometers. Mark your calendars. On October 3rd, 2025, interstellar comet 3I Atlas sweeps inside the orbit of Mars and passes within roughly 29 million kilometers of Earth. Atlas is arriving earlier than expected. Its refined trajectory pulled its close approach ahead of schedule. NASA flagged it as a hyperbolic fast mover. Then when it approached Mars, its coma suddenly flared bright green. Not the soft seafoam glow of normal comets, but a punchy 600,000 kilometer wide emerald halo appeared. The sudden change shocked both scientists and amateur astronomers. Let's backtrack to July 1, 2025. The Atlas survey in Chile spotted a strange object racing too fast too straight. Solar orbit fits wouldn't close. Eccentricity kept landing above a value of one. This object was clearly not bound to the sun. Speed, about 61 kilometers per second relative to the sun, accelerating to nearly 98 kilometers per second at perihelion. This thing was fast, real fast. A faint coma and tail were quickly confirmed. Not a rock, but an interstellar comet. After Oumuamua and Borisov, finally another interstellar visitor. The Minor Planet Center made it official and named the comet 3I slash ATLS. A third messenger from beyond our solar system, brightening and shifting as it plunged inward. On September 7th, during a total lunar eclipse, the mystery deepened. Backyard astronomers first caught it as a bluish fuzzball. Hours later, images rolled in from other continents. Now Atlas was wrapped in neon green light. Independent calibrations ruled out filters and tricks. As Earth's shadow faded, the emerald glow stayed. Professionals scrambled spectrographs to pin down what was happening. Normally, green comets show clear C2 swan bands, carbon molecules fluorescing under sunlight, except in Atlas, where these bands were clearly missing. This object was different from the others. Then infrared data piled on the surprises. Carbon dioxide outgassing dominated. 7.6 parts CO2 for every one part water. That's the reverse of most comets in our system. Cyanogen appeared, along with trace sulfur compounds, Water and carbon monoxide hovered at unusually low levels, yet none of it explained the brightness of the glow. Labs checked for contamination, eclipse artifacts, data errors, nothing. The green hue was real. Its chemistry was rewriting the rules of what NASA scientists thought they knew about comets. Dust behavior quickly added more intrigue. Polarimetry showed light scattering beyond expected limits, diving further into negative polarization than any small solar system body flying this close to the sun. In simple terms, Atlas's dust grains are tiny, tightly packed, structured, more like pristine interstellar objects than reprocessed local comets. Hubble's last images before its solar cutoff suggested a small, dense nucleus, only a few kilometers wide, cloaked in a CO2-rich coma. And just when the mystery peaked, humanity's best eyes went blind. Both Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope were blinded by solar light. For Earth, Atlas was slipping away. But Mars was perfectly placed, with Atlas almost on a collision course with the Red Planet. In early October, with the comet's path slicing almost exactly inside Mars's orbit, Mars orbiters could catch views James Webb and Hubble couldn't. Emergency retasking began. Instruments toggled. Schedules flipped. Mars conveniently became our interstellar outpost to keep eyes on 3I Atlas. After the discovery, researchers ran the clock backward. And there it was, hiding in plain sight. In late 2023, NASA's TESS Space Telescope captured faint frames of Atlas, 
but the automated exoplanet algorithms ignored it. In mid-2024, the still-testing Vera Rubin Observatory caught it again. Both detections stayed buried until the official discovery. The lesson landed hard. Lucky glances aren't enough anymore. Real-time algorithmic vigilance is our future. The Vera Rubin Observatory is about to transform the hunt for interstellar objects, scanning the entire sky every few nights, flagging fast intruders in odd colors almost instantly. And astronomers want to go beyond watching. Engineers are designing rapid response interceptors, shelf-ready probes, solar sail flyers, even swarms of micro-instruments that can snap together and launch within days. The technology is aimed at one goal, stop losing interstellar visitors to speed. In the future, we are sure to catch a lot more objects from outside the solar system. Here's the near-term timeline. On October 3rd, 2025, 3i Atlas brushes closest as it sweeps inside Mars's orbit, about 29 million kilometers from Earth. For a few days, Mars orbiters will record what Earth cannot. By October 29th, it curls near the Sun, then fades back to interstellar space. Will we solve that emerald glow? Hypotheses include volatile nickel chemistry, exotic radicals triggered by far ultraviolet bombardment, or compounds no one has ever modeled, because no comet here has forced us to. What's undeniable is the symbolism. These interstellar objects are messengers from beyond, formed under suns we'll never see, carrying chemistry that doesn't play by our rules. Humans have found only three of them so far, a tumbling shard called Oumuamua, a classic comet with an alien twist called Borisov, and now, a glowing green enigma by the name of 3i Atlas. Each one gave us just a passing glimpse. The next will come soon. The question is whether we'll finally be ready to greet it before it forever vanishes into the dark. So, as 3i Atlas races past and vanishes back into the dark, it leaves us with more questions than answers and a challenge to find more. The galaxy is full of interstellar messengers like this, slipping through our skies in the blink of an eye. If you want to keep chasing them with us, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned here on the Space Observer channel. There's more space news to come soon. See you guys in the next video.